Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Brute coming at you on a lovely Wednesday evening. It gets dark so much earlier now. So I'm going to have to hustle to get these videos in when I get home from work um, before I lose my light out here. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well. Before I talk about the tobacco, I have my Fallon pipe here with its beautiful amber stem and its lovely, lovely grain. Love this pipe. It's a big bowl, too. So, in it, I've got a little Rattray's Buckingham. I uh, just can't believe this tin note. Beautiful. So, Buckingham is a combination of dark and bright Virginias, uh, some cube cup burley, and some black Cavendish. And it is an aromatic, and it's flavored with um, hickory nut, cinnamon, vanilla, and some people say a little bit of bourbon or whiskey. I don't know if I taste that quite yet. Give you a little peek there. You can see the really distinct cube cutting going on. Uh, absolutely cool presentation. It's beautiful. Lots of black bits. But you know, this isn't an overly, despite the description I just told you of what it's made out of, it's not an overly topped aromatic. It's really clean. It's very dry, or not very dry, it's dry coming out of the tin. It has a familiar uh, tin note that reminds me of all of the Kohlhaas and Kopp uh, products, which Rattrays is one of the things they make. They also make my favorite Vallon tobaccos as well. But not a super heavily flavored aromatic. Not super sweet. Uh, it's got the black Cavendish, um, which just seems to give it a very pleasing quality, but not a huge, like it's a slightly creamy mouthfeel. The vanilla is not totally ramped up. Um, I do taste the cinnamon. It's just really pleasant. It's uh, it's not like a bakery sweet roll it's more like a cinnamon bread kind of thing uh, a little more on the savory end than the sweet end mm. I, uh, I do think I could have packed it I actually for once think I packed it a little too light um, not a super heavy flavor. It does have some... Well, the Virginias are a little present. There's some dark fruit there. There's a decent amount of citrus. Mmm. Got a lot of citrus on the light. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a hard one to describe. It's it's more subtle than I was expecting. A lot of cinnamon in the retro ale. Um, I think the burley is nice and just kind of nutty and provides a richness.
really good. Yeah, I was I was really kind of prepared for like a full blown aromatic experience, but this is uh, and and that quite often is what you get with the various Bowen uh, aromatics, and I like that. I did read some somewhere that somebody actually said that this is something that someone who smokes in English um, could also appreciate, and that's probably true. But I don't think there's any English equalities to this. Mm. Yeah, a bit of lemon, a bit of like dark cherry, um, and yeah, the smoke is a little thin. Smoke output's okay, but it's not a thick, creamy smoke. Hmm. This is a big surprise compared to the Tin Note. This is definitely one of those ones that the Tin Note and the smoking experience, totally different universes. Now, I can say that this is very good. Um... I am a little disappointed, as you can probably tell. Uh, not because it's bad, but because it's not what I was thinking it was going to be. I would actually, you can see, they put like a, a little flavoring strength and room scent rating on the back. I would actually say that the flavoring's pretty light. The strength, well, we'll find out about the nicotine in a little bit, but certainly the body of the flavor is pretty light. I have to sneeze. <laughs> um, and room scent, who could tell, because I'm the one smoking it. So um, I don't think this is a particularly offensive tobacco, though. I'm going to have to wrap my brain around this one. I'm actually going to give this one like a B plus, um, which, yeah, kind of shocks me. I was really looking forward to that. Uh, and in part, uh, the other Rattray's products that I have are so amazing that uh, maybe this is maybe this is just a little subtle and I'm going to have to come to like it. If you've tried Rattray's Buckingham, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, again, I highly suggest it. It's, it's good. I would definitely say that someone who doesn't like a really full strength, robust flavor, they want something a little more subtle, this is definitely a good place to start. Uh, huh. This may be the lowest rated Rattray's product I've tried. Tell you what, though, I uh, I'll keep smoking it, and maybe I'll come back to the flavor and let you guys know uh, in a few days or a week or whatever if my opinion has changed. But eh, from meh to go get you some, somewhere in the middle of meh and go get you some. Uh, how about go ask a friend for a taste and then see if you want to get you some. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Before I sign off, I did just want to showcase the beer a little bit. New Glarus. They're known for something called Spotted Cow. And this is a special limited time version of that. Spotted Cow and all the New Glarus products are available only in Wisconsin. And their, their motto is Drink Indigenous. Um, you can see that the Wisconsin shape is part of their logo. Um... This is a limited time version of the Spotted Cow. This is the Grand Cru, and good golly, this is nice. See, that's full body. Perhaps I need a different beer choice. 
Um, although I haven't taken a sip of that before just now. So if you're in Wisconsin or on one of our borders, like Illinois or Minnesota or Canada, uh, then uh, or Michigan, uh, definitely cross the border and get some Grand Cru spotted cow while you can. It's good stuff. Anyway, be well, Zygazant. <laughs>